click the subscribe button and the bell icon on the YouTube app to make sure you never miss another update. Hey what's up guys, Adi here and today I'm going to show you the Pixel Experience ROM for our Redmi Note 4 and Redmi Note 4X codename Mido. So without any further ado, let's get started. <music> ROM and this one comes with all the Pixel 2 exclusive features and as you can see the boot rendition on this ROM is also from the Pixel 2. So here it is, it's just booted up right now. So as you can see this is the ROM and you also get the Android 8.1 notification panel and the quick shortcuts panel and the quick settings panel as, as you can see it's semi transparent. Maybe you can't see that on the camera and as you can see the launcher is also from Android 8.1 and as you can see the most quick app or the app shortcuts from the Android 8.1 is here and you are also getting the Pixel 2 power menu or the Android 8.1 power menu here and yes you also get the 8.1 Pixel launcher so the adaptive icon is also working here and the settings app is also from Android 8.1 as you can see there is this new layout on the settings app looks really fine and the camera is also working fine and strong so i'm just using the oneplus 5d camera port i made a video about that you can watch that and if you are a youtube red user you will also get the picture in picture mode working fine so as you can see here i have the picture in picture mode working fine on my youtube app so yeah you do need youtube red subscription for it so here we go let's just open the system UI tuner and from here you can get some more pixel 2 features so here we have the all on display which i'll show you in a bit you can also enable this on screen buttons and you're also getting the actual real pixel navigation bar animations and you also have this android 8.1 feature when you open an app your navigation bar goes dim so this is to avoid the burning issues that pixel 2 excel has been users has been facing and you also get this always on display and the fingerprint sensor is also working fine on this ROM so as you can see just tap it the fingerprint sensor is working so yeah thank you for this video leave a like comment down below share this video and subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next one